Hey there, this is Juggling Geek here. Um, just thought I'd make this quick video as a tutorial to explain how the full chest detector works. So this chest is currently full. As you can see, all the slots are full, are full stacks, and this signal here produces an output. If you take anything out of the chest, the output is turned off. Um, if you just want to copy that straight away, you can just have a look at it and copy that piece for piece and it'll work. But how it works, um, stick around for the rest of the video. So the first principle to understand is that redstone creates a signal that gradually gets weaker and weaker. It starts at 15 and eventually there is at zero. So you've got one, two, three, four, right up to 15 which is produced by this torch. So with that in mind you can um, use a comparator which detects certain things and one of those things is how full a chest is. So if we just bring the chest and stick that in there and then the redstone signal will be switched off. However if you put an item in there, a single item, it will this little blue redstone is switched on, but only to the power of one redstone strength. If we start filling the chest up a little bit more, you can see here that three pieces of redstone are switched on, this one's still switched off. So with that in mind, we can also look at the side input of the comparator. So basic principle is if you have a redstone signal coming into this side of the um, of the comparator and a redstone signal coming into this side of the comparator, it will test which one is strongest and as long as this one is greater than or equal to the redstone strength that's coming into the side, this will switch on. So for example, if we put more redstone on, this one is now, because this torch is further away from the comparator's main input, the side input is a higher redstone signal than the main input, and therefore there is no output. If you switch, change that around, make this signal stronger, the redstone signal is on. So, what we want to do to test our full chest is go back to this full chest over here and we can have a look to see what kind of redstone strength is being put out by this chest. So up to there and we can compare that to something that we know to be a 15 full strength redstone signal which is a redstone torch. Uh, we'll just do this and what we should find, yep yeah, there you go, is that they are identical. So we know that this full chest is outputting a redstone signal of uh, 15. So what we need to do is it needs to be switched on only when it's up to 15. So if I take out a single piece of redstone here, go over to here, you can now see that it's only at 14 because that piece of redstone is switched off. So we'll go back to the chest, fill it back up again. Now we know that this produces 15, so if we put a single piece of redstone dust in between the redstone torch and the side input of the comparator, that will now be siding, producing a 14 strength redstone signal into the side of the comparator versus the 15 strength coming out of the chest. So if we now remove a piece of redstone from this chest, um, the signal switched on. So that is your basic redstone um, full chest detector system. You can then use this redstone signal to do anything you like that would disable, for example, a farm or something that you ha wanted to switch off once the collection chests had been filled. Um, hope that helps. Uh, this has been Juggling Geek. Thank you and goodbye.